Contact me at timscomputerfix.net to find out how you can ship me your laptop for repair. Hello everyone, Tim again, timscomputerfix.net. I have another video here for you. This is a Dell Inspiron 3542. By the way, you can find me over at timscomputerfix.net. If you are having computer issues and need to have me take a look at your computer, you can ship me your computer. Just contact me again over at timscomputerfix.net and I can make it happen for you. What this laptop is doing is, uh, well, I'll show you. We'll power it on now. Wait a minute. Beeps. It's beeping. I'll shut it down. So that's all it's doing is giving us eight beeps. And what those beep codes do is point us in the direction of what may be causing the issue. Eight beeps from a Dell computer, according to Dell, is an LCD problem. So there's a few ways to troubleshoot this. And look at this. Look, look what I see here, actually. Look at this. And that's a... I don't think that's the right, this screen has been goofed with. It sure has, look at that. Ah, oh, this screen, look at that. The screen's been goofed with. Uh-huh, I see like somebody's trying to do their own work here, but this isn't fitting right in here. This definitely is not fitting right. This is a different screen this this supposed to be in here so again somebody's been goofing with this so let's just um, let's continue on with this diagnosis shall we uh, according to Dell and what they say or according to some of these things online uh, hold down the D button and power on but what I'm telling you here is We're not hearing, seeing anything yet. So I'm holding down D, I've powered it on. I'm telling you, this is a different screen. You can see along the outside, <laughs> this isn't the right screen for this computer. So that didn't do anything. Let's try it again. Okay. Not seeing anything there. Shut it off. So obviously what we're going to do now, uh, we're going to try for external. <clears throat> so my monitors here in my shop, at least the one I'm trying to connect it to is a VGA cable. And this laptop only has a HDMI, only has, it only has a HDMI. So, I am going to use my trusty adapter. This is my VGA to US to this is my VGA to HDMI adapter. I'll have a link to this uh, adapter down below in the comments. So you can help support my channel, purchase from my link down there. And that would help me out. Let's plug I'm going to plug that in. Plug that in right down here, and let me move the camera up a bit so we can have a look at this monitor. So I'm going to power this on one more time, and we have we're beeping. We're beeping, but uh, I'm getting a post here up on the screen. So, boy, can you get any louder beeps on that thing? So it's definitely the, the screen here, and I got high suspicions 
obviously that somebody's been goofing with the screen. Um, definitely, definitely somebody's been uh, in this screen. So let me just go ahead and take off this bezel and see what kind of screen they have in here. Looks like they tried to do their own work on this computer. It's obvious. It's obvious. You know what I mean? I mean, they don't tell you something there, do they? They don't. Let me see if I can go ahead and pop out this bezel. Let's have a look here. Let's have a look at what we have. This comes off way too easy. You know, they could have at least mentioned to me, <laughs> you know, they could have at least mentioned it to me that they've tried to do their own work on this thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They just refrain from telling me that. So let's get uh, my trusty screwdriver here. Let's go ahead and take out these um, screws that hold the screen in place. Fold this screen down and see what it's looking like here. See. Ah, ha, ha, look. I mean, how about that? Yeah, this screen's been either swapped out, changed, or something of that nature. But let me look, let me look in my sloth of screens here and see if I can find a replacement. Please rate and subscribe to my feed. I'd appreciate it. Hit that thumbs up button if you like it. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell to get notifications. And as usual, find me over at timscomputerfix.net. Till next time everyone, see you soon.